Welcome back to another episode of This Week in New Tech. This week, New Tech released its very own clothing line, and we got a chance to interview the creator. And I had a chance to interview in the environmental systems class, who are currently going over a project over ecosystems. Let's go see what's up. I'm joined here today with senior Sarah Ballou, who is the woman behind the clothing line at New Tech. So Sarah, how did you go about taking on this project as an individual? Um, I really wanted to see more clothes that um, had our logo on that we could wear to support our school and everything, but not just t-shirts. I wanted like hoodies, sweats, uh, all of the stuff that's coming out and will come out. So I went and I did it. Awesome, awesome. The clothes are really amazing. I have to tell you that, Sarah. So, Sarah, um, can you walk us through the steps of you creating the clothing? Um, well, you have to, like, get an outline of all the different types, like pants, all those. And then you pick a color and then the design, whatever logo you want on. And then after we finally go through a big process of picking out which ones we want, you get them finalized by the teachers running it, get them sent to the printer, and then make the brochure and everything to get it all done. Awesome, awesome. So Sarah, how will this tie into after you graduate? Um, I am going to major in marketing and okay. like kind of the graphic design aspect of marketing. So I'll like be creating logos and t-shirts and all that stuff to market products. Awesome, I'm very happy to hear that, Sarah. So Sarah, who all can buy the clothing? Um, students were given the brochures and it's also published on like the website and given to the link is given to the parents in the newsletter where they can go and fill it out. Students can fill it out. And then recently we've had like students outside of the school, like who moved from new tech who are interested and we're still working on a plan on how to get it further out and known. All right. Well, there you have it, students. Go ahead and go buy those clothing lines. I am so excited for the clothes already. Um, and also, I'm very happy to say that today's Sarah's 18th birthday. So happy birthday, Sarah, from our New Tech family. All right. Thank you so much, Sarah. I'm joined here today with our science teacher, Mrs. Tabor. So, Mrs. Tabor, I understand that your environmental systems class is going through a project right now. Um, what are they studying exactly right now? So they've been studying the effects of pollution and different types of pollution, and they've been studying uh, ecosystems and what are the different components of ecosystems from um, aquatic to terrestrial and, you know, kind of tying in water, land, and air. All right. And what are you hoping that your students would get out of it? I'm hoping that they take into consideration what a healthy ecosystem would actually look like. So they've created their own terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems and added in a decomposition chamber so that they can kind of see how things are broken down and returned back to the environment in a healthy way and then the twist on that is they're going to add a pollutant so hopefully things that we don't consider that we're adding to the environment and then making a prediction on what they think is going to happen and which parts of that ecosystem are going to be affected. Wow that sounds amazing. Thank you so much Mrs. Taper. I'm joined here today with Junior Louise Reisner. So Louise, I understand that in your environmental systems class you have a project going on. And can you please explain to us what an eco column is and why you have three chambers? Sure, so we have three chambers representing three um, habitats that we have today. So we have the aquatic chamber, which we have fish, we have algae, and we have to feed the fish. And so, and then we have our decomposition chamber we, we, where we've added worms, pill bugs, and we also have some leaves and so that they have something to eat. And then we have our terrestrial chamber where we're growing beets and beans. And so all those three work together. The terrestrial chamber provides oxygen to the plants and the decomposition chamber works through the soil and the aquatic chamber provides water for the whole system. Wow. I couldn't have said it better than you. you. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. <laughs> I'm joined here today with senior Zach White. So, Zach, can you tell us the process of you making your own ecosystem? Well, so what we did was we went outside to go gather all the resources like the water, the fishes, the insects, uh, 
and all the dead leaves and stuff like that. So that's what we did for the first time. And so we got it all that. We put it into our bottles. Uh, and so we just like cut up our bottles and stuff like that. So each bottle can fit into each other. And then we just kind of like place everything. So the water goes at the bottom, which is like the aquatic section, our terrestrial sections at the top where we put like all of our like soil and dirt and seeds and stuff like that that we also got and the decaying part i forgot the name of that but we have like the decaying part which is where we put like all the insects and dead leaves and stuff in that as well and they would like couldn't uh they would like sometimes go back out there to get like more stuff like if we needed more uh lake water or anything like that we would go and get that and we'll just come back and just add that in there so ecosystems can live a little bit longer so you went down to the water then yes well i hope no one fell all right. right thank you so much zach all right, guys, thanks so much for watching yet another groovy episode at the Seek at New Tech. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out our website at miningtech.org. And we will see you guys in our next episode. Bye. <laughs>